everyone. It's Diane Evans for stampingwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator um, from the interior of British Columbia. So welcome to my YouTube live or my Facebook live. Um, I What I do usually on Thursdays is part of my Now What series. So you've got something in your craft room and what do you do with it now? Well, honestly, I'm going to show you something that just arrived at my doorstep. Ooh, not even an hour ago, probably about 45 minutes ago. And I want to show you some different things with the different kits. The kits are amazing things. If you want things um, like if you go camping, you want to take some um, different things camping, but also the gift of giving um, something crafty to somebody. And Stampin' Up! is coming out with two kits a month now. Some of them are stamping kits, some of them are non-stamping kits. So I decided to show you a non-stamping kit. Um, I'm really going to start getting more into, I'm going to do a cooking and kit club. So if you purchase a kit from me, you can come. Um, I think I'm going to do it. I think it's the last Saturday of the month. I have to check that out. Um, it's something that's just starting next month. And um, basically it's going to be, you can come over. I'll bake some cookies, not, not my specialty cookies. And that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Um, but it's it, I'll be having cookies and you just come and we'll just chit chat and put some kits together. So I, I'm looking forward to it because it'll kind of give me some no thinking time sort of thing to do. So let me go on down to my desktop here. Now, this is what I just got in the mail. Now, it doesn't look like a normal kit, does it? It's a little bit bigger. And this kit is called Happy House Plants Kit. So it's not a stamping kit. It's it's a, a kit that you can put together and I've got some great ideas of what you can do. Oh my goodness, Jan, you're talking about me jazzing this up. I will be jazzing it up, but not quite today because honestly, I was supposed to get this two days ago and I didn't get it until, like I say, 3.30. But I'm going to give you some ideas and we will show you coming in the future what is going to come. And I honestly, I think I, I can show you, give you some ideas, and then I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, now, remember, this is part of a live. So if I do say hello to different people, that's all part of it. And if you don't like that, just watch it on a replay and you can just miss that part completely. Hello, Pam. Oh, nice, beautiful night in, in Nova Scotia, right? Hello, Laura. We meet again. You're right. And hello, Felicia. All right, so this kit, and I did open it up, and I've got to tell you, it comes with, and I'm just, I love the size box. To me, this box is going to be a reusable box for sure. But this kit comes with four six by six frames. So let's just go into those frames right now. I am taking my take your pick tool, and I'm going to use that exacto knife frame. I'm just going to, whoops, ooh, that wasn't smart. Just going to cut into that. Be very careful with this blade because it is really, really, uh, I've got quite a glare on there. So I'm just going to try to take that light away. So I'll show you these frames. And yes, Jan, I am planning on jazzing it up, but I want to show you how nice they really are. Oh, I didn't think that they had a plastic on there. Well, there you go. So there's six by six in here. They do have like a plexiglass type, not plexiglass, maybe a plastic frame. They look like it, it has like a linen sort of finish on the frame. You get four of those and they can stand or you can, I'm only going to do maybe one or two of these, um, but they have um, where they can, you can put them up on a wall or they can stand up as well. And I like that kind of decor when they've got that. Really easy to get in to do this part. Um, let me just get in there and I wanna show you certain things with this part. Now this is, it's a plastic and it has, a, um, it's a shield on there. I don't want to really go, but there is a plastic shield. I'm quite shocked, actually, that I, the way I read about these is that it didn't have any covering on there. That's okay. Now, this is going to be just a little tricky to get this part off. 
I don't want to scratch it. Or am I think no, there we go. So see, it's just going to come off like so, and it's only on one side. So just like that, and that's going to keep it nice and clean. And then that's going to go in the front part there. And you know what? I'm going to leave that for now. But then I want to show you this. So you get you get a whole pile of dimensionals, which is great here. It comes in this pack that opens up. And then what you also get in there are four of these frames. You have four frames. And you also have the instruction sheet. So you're going to make these four things right here. And the beauty of it is, is always when you get your kit, is open it up and make sure that you have all the product that you need from it. Coordinating colors, if you want to do different things with this, is um, Calypso Coral, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Lemon Lime Twist, and Pecan Pie are the colors that are in there. But always make sure that you open it up and make sure you've got everything. And then they have all the instructions on here. Now, another thing that's on here, and I don't know how many of you really noticed this before, but if you had to do twine or anything like that, they always have a measuring thing on there. But they also have, this shows you how the sets are going to go together. You have this. Then it goes to this, to this, and then it shows you how to put them all together. And also just pictures to put them all together. Oh, great, Marge. You made it to a live. That's really good. Oh, geez. I got to put this up. I'm just going to move this off. All right. So then, like I say, remember I got this like at 3.30 my time. So this is the one. This is the one with the snake plant. So we're going to put that one together. So we have these issues. We have these things that are going to go in there. And we're going to go by the instructions. But check this out. I have another one that's going to go with those. And then take a look. I've got two other ones, but nothing else to go with it. So I want to tell you. I gave, I took a picture and I gave Stampin' Up! a call and guess what? They're already on their way out to me. So it's always good to know that if something comes and always check your order, but also when something comes and it's not quite right, you give Stampin' Up! a call and they look after it just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you, I'm going to put together two of them. So we'll do the snake plant. I don't know what this plant is. Can somebody help me out with that plant? Hello, Leanne. Um, anyways, this goes here. And we're going to put pop everything up with dimensional. So that's going to go right on here. Now, this is one of those stand things. So that's why you have this part here. But that's the last thing that goes on there. So we've got our other two snake plant things here. And actually, Jan, had I gotten this yesterday like I was supposed to, yes, I would have had another one for you to do. But I like to say kits should be just done the way they are because, you know, if you've got people that just like to craft, it works really, really good. So it's this one that we're going to take, this one here, and we're going to pop it up and we're going to put it over top and just over to the side there. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to use the dimensionals that they give me. They're a little bit thicker dimensionals than the ones that we usually get. And you know what? I'm not going to use these. And the reason being is I want to go in with many dimensionals on there. And I want them to be all the same height. So yes, they have great ones that you can use with them. But I want my dimensionals to go a little bit further up here. So, put them there. And like I say, so easy to do, but just think of your friends that, you know, you'd like to craft with them, but they say, oh, I'm not crafty. They can do something like this. And it's, it's really kind of a neat idea for them. And this is home decor. So it's really kind of neat to do that. Oops. 
Okay, so this is just going to go and see what we're going to do here is we just come in with this thing here and we see where this is going and it's just going to go in off centered. Or is it this one that goes on next? No, it's this one. One. So it's this one. Oops. It's called following directions, right? <laughs> oh, that's a hard thing for me to do. Anyways, we will do it. So this shows you up here and it shows you actually where to put the dimensionals as well. See these little dots here, they show you. So I say anybody can do this. What a great thing for a young girl to get for their mom for Mother's Day and then put it together. So that's just going to go on there like so. Now, number three is this one like this, and it shows you three dimensionals. I put four on there. And then that is just going to go on here as well. So see, we're getting the extra dimensions. Oops, I want to put that a little bit more here like that. And then this is the pot and we're going to put those on and it says to put them on four corners. I am actually going to do them on four corners, but I'm also going to put one in the middle because I don't want it sagging in the middle. So are your juices going to what you can do with this? Um, just think though, if you do live in town, in Kamloops, that is, and you buy a kit from me, you can come join us for, I, we're going to be doing it in person and we can do it by Zoom as well. So you don't have to be in person. So this is just going to go right on, whoops, I got to trim that one off. Of course, I got to move it now because I don't have my scissors at this end of the table. Had a class last night, so it was great. So that's just going to go right on there. And there we go. So there's our first one done. Now, to me, what I think you could do with this as well. So you're going to listen. You're going to hear what I would do with something like this. I would take this and I would take a blending brush and actually you could add stuff there, or we could cut a piece of um, cardstock is going to be six inches by six inches and we can change up exactly or we can change up what we're going to do so i'm actually going to go ahead and put that in remember that protective covering we're just going to put that in there now if we want this to be up more of a shadow we can actually add um, more um, like a piece of cardboard in there to lift it up a little bit more but this just goes in here like this. This goes in like this. How simple is that, right? So just like that. And then I'm just going to take my take your pick tool and just push those down. Now, I'm probably going to be changing those up quite a bit. So I may not put them all down. Just going to put some down just like that. Now, check this out. So there we go. There's your first piece. So like I say, or what you could do is you could put words in there. You could do a bunch of different things. So that's number one. Let's go ahead. This one was probably one of my favorites. This one, and these are philodendrons. But like I say, when I opened this up, they didn't have it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, my goodness, you guys. Oh, I can't believe that. See? This is why... I go on live here. It didn't have it in the instructions. That's why. Oh my goodness. Let me just pull those out. <laughs> Can't believe that. Oh well, you know me. Let's do this one. And we're going to pull that out again. We're going to pull this part out like that it has the frames in there so we're just going to put a frame right in there 
Now, at this point, if we wanted to color that frame, we could color that frame. And there we go, just like that. So that gives us a little bit more of definition on there. See how that works with the frame on there? That's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here, and I'm only going to put one of those tabs down. And I can't wait to show you other things that I've got planned for this. Okay, so there's that one like that. Very plain, but then you, in this day and age, there's the minimalist um, sort of type um, decor that's in there. And there's going to be four of them. Okay, then there's this one. Like I say, um, I really like this one, but I didn't get the sheets for this one, but they're replacing them. And then this one, and I think this plant, if I'm not, <laughs> yep, thanks, Felicia. Yes, and that's, so it wouldn't fall out. It was like a shadow box. And that's what I said. You could go ahead and put the strips around, or you could go in and you could also, um, I would put the frame in first and then put that in. But if you put those adhesive sheets in there, what happens then is that you can't interchange this. This is the reason why I did it this way. So this is the, I think this plant starts with a B. Does anybody know? Is it a fig? I don't know. What does it look like to you? I thought it started with a bro, bro something or other. I don't know. Anyways. Um, and then the fourth one is another one of those split leaf philodendrons. And I love those plants as well. And they're so hardy. I think that's the reason why I like them. So I am waiting to get those in, in the mail or from Stampin' Up. So I have another frame here. And we're going to put that there so we don't forget it. Then this is the frame. And it is going to go like this. So here we have this. We have our two pieces here. We can just take those out. This one I could get away with the big dimensionals, that's for sure. Just like that. And then it's, oh, and I can't do this one either. You know why? Because it has the basket on it. Huh. So I'll show you how this kind of goes. The next one is going to be this one. And it's going to go, whoops, it's not this one. It's this. This is that one. And then this one is this one. And it's going to go on here like so. So it's just going to go right in there. And then this one is going to go on here like this and with all that dimension on there it's going to look really nice but I can't finish this one off because I don't have the sheet and I think it's just one of these sheets that's missing completely with all the pieces like I say I will let you know and I'll show you those pieces but let me tell you my other ideas with this okay so then we would put this on here bromelad that's it there you go. I knew it started with a B. I used to be not bad with my host plants. Did I get the phil did I get the philodendron right? Oh, it could go to the yes, it could to the succulent family. Okay. So let's go back to this one. Let's think what other things that we could do on here. Like I say, I really wish I could have shown you more of that, but a lesson learned is once you get a kit is open it up to make sure that you've got everything on there. My whole thought process, because we do get the four frames. What about four seasons? That would be really nice if you had, and all you'd have to do is cut a six by six piece of paper to do that. So you could do that. You could do that thing. Also, if you wanted to do a theme that has, like, uh, I think this would be really cute. And I don't know why I'm thinking snowman. But I think four different snowman on here would have been just amazing. Think of if this was for a baby's room, this would be so cute with um, 
baby stuff. It could be A, B, C, and it could have the baby's name down below with the, the date of their birth. So I have an idea of what one that I'm going to be doing. Um, and I will show you and how I'm going to show you it, it might do it on the next two or three now what series. Um, I'll show you these completed um, once I get my stuff and it could be over a week to get that anyways. But I am going to show you different ideas on there um, to um, what you could do in these these boxes. So these could be interchangeable. And I think that's where you're going to get way more money, um, you know, way more um, for for the money that you spend on there. Um, to get these six by six frames here in Canada is almost impossible, but it's what it is. So, all right, so what is happening? I will not be going live on Saturday to do my sketch challenge. I will be doing it on Sunday. It's part of a huge stamp camp that um, an international stamp camp that we have. And it go, we go from four o'clock tomorrow, which is specific time all the way to four o'clock the next day. So there's presentations almost every two hours of all the alternatives that are on there. Um, and it really, um, we're using notes of nature. So I'm really excited about that. And I thought in order to keep so that I'm really focused on that particular event, I'm not going to do my, I was going to do my card sketch but then I was interfering with somebody else's time on there and I didn't want to do that. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I think this is a great um, uh, kit to get. And the other kit that went live um, on the beginning of February is a beautiful um, gold and um, gold birthday with um, it has six cards and six tags and they're really nice kits. These kits are um, great ways to um, share your love of creating with other people. So, and remember, remember that if you want to, you can um, buy a kit, join me um, uh, and I'll put a thing up there where you can join me where we're going to do it by Zoom and also by person. And uh, we'll just chit chat and put some kits together. So I hope that works well. Awesome. All right, you guys. So we'll see you on Sunday at 10 o'clock Pacific time with a new sketch using new projects, new stuff. Oh my goodness. I did finally get my stuff today. So I'm so excited. And these are the online exclusives. Now, if you're not a demonstrator, you can't get these until March the 5th. But if you are a demonstrator, you can pre-order them now and you can pre-order everything in the um, online exclusives, which is another good reason to be a demonstrator, right? Um, so, yeah, it and don't forget, then you get class math too, right? So, anyways, you guys, you, I want you to have a great day. We will see you on Sunday. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you more, but honestly, just to let you know that Stampin' Up! does stand by their stuff so it's really a good thing yours comes on monday felicia oh my goodness well mine was supposed to be here and then it got stuck again at the border so and there's one that i really need for something that i have to do for saturday so that's why i'm going to be touching all that stuff and all those goodies and everything else i don't know which is my favorite whether it's the marigolds or whether it's the latte one i'm not sure so Anyways, you guys. All right. Give me the thumbs up. Share my video. Remember, if you do live in Canada, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Also, remember to create because it's great for the soul. Bye for now.